Today we're talking about the X30 and how to change the clutch shoes and remove the ring gear. Welcome back to the Power of Public YouTube channel. Today we're talking about the X30 clutch. Now this was a question from the interwebs so thank you very much for that question. Uh, this engine was in for a rebuild this week so I thought it would be a great opportunity to show you how to remove your clutch drum clutch shoes, ring gear, and then put it all back together. So let's get to it. The first thing you're gonna to need to do is get a 17 millimeter socket and hopefully rattle gun. Otherwise you're gonna to need to lock your engine all together with a piston stop. If it was still assembled, obviously this one is uh, gonna be pulled apart. So we're just gonna rattle that off with the 17. So put the rattle gun on the end and you can just hold the ring gear with your fingers. And just buzz that straight off. So you've got the nut then the washer, and then the ring gear and the bearing will probably come with it. Sometimes they can be a bit sticky, if, especially as they've been used a fair bit. And then all you need to do is just jiggle it off. And you can see this one here is a little bit dirty. Probably could have been greased a bit more. That's the clutch drum. Needle roller bearing. Then you've got your little o-ring and then the internal thrust washer. Now it does have a beveled edge here and that's to marry up with a slight radius in the crankcase. Oh, sorry, the crankshaft. Okay, so now that we've got the clutch drum off, we can inspect that for some damage. So you can see here that this um, 10 tooth can go another round. When the um, case hardening wears through, these teeth get a little bit pointed and they'll start to lean and then it's time for a new front sprocket, but this one's okay. And then you can also check that the clutch drum for any sort of cracks. The I armies aren't renowned for it, they're pretty robust unit. And then obviously we'll get a rag and some brake clean and we'll clean out all the old grease and oil and some of the dirt. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the center retaining nut off the ring gear assembly. So here we have our clutch shoes. These ones are in near brand new condition. You can see that the friction material is pretty constant all the way around. They do wear out sort of down on the toes here, that's the first place and through the center. But this one's got plenty of life left in it. Uh, these ones do crack across here as well with just um, use and abuse so, uh, through racing. So keep your eye on those. And if you did want to replace those at the track, you can undo those three screws and actually remove the shoes straight off the ring gear without having to pull that off the, um, off the, off the engine. So for this job, you are gonna need a 27 millimeter impact socket and it's going to have to have a turned step in it so it can go inside the clutch shoes to get onto the, the clutch retaining nut. This is a left-handed threaded nut, so it spins the opposite direction to your normal traditional right-handed nuts is what you get on your go-kart. So what that means is as the engine's rotating, it would tighten, if anything, not loosen itself off under the load of the, the chain and the sprocket and everything. But uh, for you, what you need to know is that you need to uh, turn it clockwise to undo it and anti-clockwise to do it up. So you can see that that spun clockwise and undid it and anti-clockwise will do it back up. So it's a left-handed thread. If you're liking these videos, please consider subscribing, turning on those notifications and if you've got any questions or recommendations for videos, please leave it in the comment sections below and we'll make a video for you. Next up, we've got the uh, clutch removal tool. So we're gonna screw that into the clutch shoes and then use the jacking bolt to screw it off the end of the crankshaft. Okay, so get your clutch removal tool and just screw that into the clutch shoes. Now, it is a right-hand thread here. So it's just a normal traditional thread. Normal, I guess, as normal as threads get. Screw that in, make sure it goes in the whole way. You can back the jacking bolt off so you can make sure that you're all the way home with your puller. And then screw that in with your fingers until you feel it onto the end of the crankshaft. Then hopefully with your rattle gun and your in-hex driver, put the rattle gun on here. With a bit of pressure, Oh, this one's on tight. 
We might have to get the big rattle gun. Okay, so you can see here that that is incredibly tight. So that's the taper, the tapered lock system. And we use a bit of uh, retaining compound on that. Uh, Loctite, whatever your local product is for there. And you put the retaining compound on your taper and lock it on with your retaining nut. And then that ring gear is the only thing that, well, the taper is the only thing that drives the, the, the engine. Okay, it's, it's got that much force um, and holding power that the tape is locked together that you don't need a keyway. Okay, so give everything a good clean with some brake cleaner. and clean off any retaining compound on the tapers. If there's a lot of build up of the old retaining compound on the taper, give it a light sand with some very fine emery paper. Okay, so now we are gonna reassemble the clutch, the ring gear and the clutch. Drop. So a couple of dabs of retaining compound on the ring gear and you can just Work your way around the ring gear like so. Place that back onto the crankshaft. A little bit of Loctite on the nuts. You can spin that on by hand. Then with the 27 millimeter impact socket. Do that guy up like so. Next up you've got your internal thrust washer with the bevel going on first. Then the O-ring. Clutch needle roller bearing, 10 tooth on the clutch drum, retaining washer, drop of Loctite on the thread here for the retaining nut, and then just buzz that back on. Okay, so there you have it. That is the X30 clutch maintenance program all taken care of. Check those out regularly. Regrease your bearings on the regular. If you're degreasing your engine, engine and jet washing at the end of your race meeting for preparation purposes and maintenance, make sure you remove the clutch, drum, and regrease the and clean the bearing and then reassemble it. It's pretty easy to do, especially if the engine's off the car. If you like the video, please consider subscribing and turning on the notifications. It's really important to us. Give us a thumbs up if you like. Leave a comment below if you have a suggestion for a video that you're having a problem with. And follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Power Republic or go to our website www.powerrepublic.com.au and grab yourself a t-shirt, a hat or a brand new X30 race engine. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. I'm going to try and not pull the, the rattle gun face. If you haven't noticed, I do do a rattle gun face. It goes like this.